here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Chase Lee, Director of the Telecommunication Standardization Bureau. Chase, welcome and thank you for joining us here today. Yes, thank you. So we're here at the beginning of the study period in 2017, and we just finished the WTSA, the World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly. Could you please explain to our viewers what some of the key outcomes from WTSA were and uh, how this might affect the future of our standards work? Yeah, as you know, WTSA has every four years for our members to define our uh, strategies, our structure for IT standardization work. Our last WTSA was held in 2016, uh, they reviewed our uh, work programs, our structures, our working method. So a, they put of this ITUT again as a strong position to prepare this ICT innovation for the next uh, uh, challenges. Uh, let me say have something more key uh, examples. Uh, our members reviewed our, uh, our structures, our work programs, our uh, the st uh, study group structures. And then that with that, as uh, they called for ITUT to accelerate our study to support of this wireline, like wireline networking innovations, such as the 5G, and also support of this uh, ultra high sp speed transport networks, including broadband and the home networks. And we have this, uh, through this WTSA, we has so increased our uh, work scope to expand our study scope to cover this IoT security and the privacy, as well as the big data aspect. Uh, this is a very important uh, subject for us uh, to support of this smart operations. And also we uh, encourage to include the, uh, the digital financial inclusions. That is another important subject. And also we have a uh, promote our standard works with uh, uh, the global mobile uh, roaming tariffs. That is uh, another important uh, subject. And in, uh, in addition to this, uh, WTSA encouraged to us to use of this cloud computing to for uh, data uh, trackings in case of this, uh, the, uh, the any uh, mercenaries connected like uh, aircraft or automatic vehicles. And uh, also this, uh, we have uh, so allowed to uh, extend of our collaborations with the uh, open source communities, uh, open source project. This is an important uh, uh, expansion of our work scope. And uh, finally, our uh, members asked to ITUT to uh, provide some of uh, technical guidance to the regulators on the, in terms of this quality of uh, service and quality of experience and also protection of our customers. Mm -hmm. So it seems our, our mandate is set for the, the next few years up until 2020. Uh, speaking of which, um, a lot of people see 2020 as a kind of uh, milestone for ICT development. Um, what are some of the, the, the key standardization priorities for the next four years? Yeah, looking for the year 2020, most the important uh, critical subject to ship with the 5G. 5G is now already shaping. And uh, we will see of these uh, smart cities uh, supported with the IoT. And also, we can see of these ICT innovations, building of these trusted ICT uh, infrastructures. Uh, our members, as uh, we uh, ask to us to continue our ongoing works like uh, quality of service, performance, and also security as a support of these our uh, operators and service providers retain of their uh, customers. This is ongoing works, and also. We have to uh, strengthen of our uh, ongoing infrastructure related uh, study, like ultra high speed networks and the broadband and also home networks, all those are the infrastructure aspect. And one of the important part, as you uh, as said, is a 5G, how we can realize support of this realization of this 5G. A following up of this 5G focus group, uh, we did all this uh, study, last study period. Following of this, uh, we can continue to provide the various solutions to realize of this 5G. This is one of important uh, subject. Through this, uh, our study, we believe we really support the pure uh, fixed mobile convergence. So this is one of our uh, stream goals. And also we believe 
through these activities, uh, it's a really help uh, good collaborations, good support of these ITORs, 5G study on the radio uh, transmission. Definitely, this also helpful for supporting various emerging applications like uh, automotive driving or health-related enhancing of education. This is our uh, approach of this uh, study period. Another subject should be the smart city issues. Smart city should be benefit from the IoT technologies. So smart city is very important subject for all city governors. And also it's a good platforms to incorporate many of technologies. So we are continuing our uh, exercise, uh, our study, how to realize of these uh, smart cities. Uh, we already have more than 10 cities to apply this uh, smart city KPIs. This is what we expect to continue this exercise and uh, find out more details of this, how to implement of the smart cities. Definitely, uh, the uh, start, continue of this study on IoT is a very essential part to support of smart cities. So we had a new mandate, the IoT security, privacy, and trust. This should be done by the study group 20. They will challenge of this subject. And also in addition, uh, this study group will challenge of this big data processing uh, in, the in the sense of the uh, support smart city operation. That is an important subject of this. All this together, we expect uh, this study result will be uh, helpful to uh, challenge how we can build trusted ICT uh, infrastructures. Mm -hmm. So it seems that you have uh, 5G, IoT, trust as uh, the top priorities for our members. Uh, speaking of members, um, you know, what kind of uh, new or innovative s services are we providing towards, uh, as a bureau towards our membership base? Yeah, uh, ITU, we continuously uh, so continue our effort to provide more uh, convenience way for our members. Especially, we provide a very sophisticated uh, electronic working method to our members. Uh, I um, pretty much sure we will continue to enhance of this our services. We are always delighted to looking this any opportunity to enhance our services. I want to highlight uh, first one is we try to enhance our document processing tools. It's an essential part of our standard development and also improve remote participation to help of this anyone, especially developing countries, to engage with this our standard development process. In addition, uh, we are uh, very keen to uh, uh, provide us uh, to uh, address bridging the standardization gaps. So this is a, a very important uh, subject. Whether uh, we are aiming for uh, expert between expert and non-expert, whether they living in the developed regions or developing regions, there's uh, some of expert or non-expert. So we try to bring up this so-called hands-on training to teach how to develop of the contributions, how to present of their contributions, how to get uh, you know collect of the supporters, how to get engagement of this uh, uh, debate, and how to get support of their proposals. All this is uh, uh, hands-on training uh, programs. We can provide of this program during the study group meetings, but also any request from our members, we can bring of these programs to that uh, the members' place. Uh, through this, uh, the hands-on uh, preaching standardization gaps of this hands-on training, we hope this will give some more opportunity to sharing the benefits of these ICT innovations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a big part of our activity is bringing together industry, academia, member states, so they can learn from each other, uh, share best practices, knowledge. Um, what are some of our upcoming events that you might want to highlight? Yeah, uh, many events, because we are now in the new study period. So, as a user of this, our expert groups, like uh, ITUT study groups, they have their meetings throughout the year. So, we already started, a couple of stu study groups already started. And also, we often have uh, some of uh, uh, open events uh, with a form of uh, workshops, uh, forums, uh, seminars. This uh, will give us a great opportunity to collect of the views to address of this uh, uh, on uh, uh, 
uh, an itemized subject in ITOT side, and also it's, uh, uh, to collect all these uh, relevant experts together. As an example, uh, just a list of some of uh, uh, key uh, elements, uh, key events for this year is uh, in case of this uh, 9th of March, we will have uh, so called future network workshops collaborating with the UNEC. As, uh, we'll, this is uh, just in, uh, at the front of this Geneva Motor Show. And also, 12th of March, we have a forum on data management with a back to back with the study group 20 which will be held in uh, Dubai. And 21st March, uh, we will have a workshop on blockchain, with, uh, just uh, in front of this uh, study group 17, so how we can address of the security issues to the blockchain subject. Uh, from 3rd to 5th of April, we have a Green Standard Weeks, which will be held in Colombia, with the subject of smart cities. And 6th to 10th of June, IoT Weeks in Geneva, with collaborating with many IoT communities. Uh, I think so finally, 7 to 9 of June, we have uh, collaborating with IBM Watson X Prize, with uh, we have uh, one of first event on the AI for Good Summit. So those are uh, at the just uh, at the first half of this year. Even we have uh, many additional events will come at the second half, but it's a, those are some of the key events for this year. Mm. Okay, Chase Lib. Well, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for joining us today, and uh, I'd like to wish you all the best of luck and success for the, the next study period. Yeah, thank you very much. All the best uh, to this year. Thank you. Thank you.